Hello. Welcome to the Gig Economy Podcast. I already want to stab Jesper in the throat. It's 2024. <laughs> he always likes to interrupt me. I hate him so much. Just kidding. Hey, if you're on Instagram, we're streaming live on Instagram right now. It's a new thing, and how we have no one watching us. How do you even do that? Uh, through our fancy, dancy, fancy, chancy StreamYard app. Something. Something, yeah, something, so something, something. I know I don't post a lot on Instagram, but like, hey, what the fuck? You know, one more place. Although we are not streaming on Twitter, or sorry, Twitch tonight. You were the first one who dropped the F-bomb, huh? Did I? Did I already you drop it? just did it, so. Jiminy Cricket, I'm Jiminy sorry. Cricket. The 2024 F-bomb. <laughs> so it is good to be back. Thank you so much for uh, letting us take a hopefully well-deserved break. And we hope that everybody had an awesome, awesome Christmas break. And and at least while driving a little bit or doing some gig work, I can say I did not at yeah. all do any digger. Digger? How about gig work? Yes, we're drunk already. 2024, first show. <laughs> I, um, I did a little gig work. I did not go out and work on New Year's Eve. I just... I wasn't feeling it, you know, and yeah. you got to be in the mood if you're going to oh, yeah. deal with drunks. You know that. And so I decided to do food delivery the next day and I did OK. I did like 300 bucks in like seven hours. No, I didn't do seven hours straight. I did like four right. in the morning and like three at night or vice versa. I can't remember. So I did OK. I did some off and on gig work here and there, but I didn't do any ride share while I was off. This was the first time I think in five or six years that I did not drive New Year's Eve. Yeah, no, because you didn't drive during COVID. Everyone forgets oh, yeah. about COVID. Yes, yes, not not including COVID. Yes. Yeah, no, no, everyone forgets about that. So you had like you basically probably went four years and then off two years for COVID. Then you drove maybe one or two years. One right? or two years, yeah. So you are correct. So while well, I'm glad you you had the opportunity to uh, spend time with family, as this is what you should do. Yeah. So tell us about this website, this fangle dangle internet thing that you created. Fangle dangle internet thing, gig economy podcast.com or gig nope. economy show. Well, yeah, gig economy hyphen podcast.com. Yep. Gig economy show.com. So you can go there and you can look at all the latest news. Yep. And you can look and you can listen to the podcast. Yep. And you should you download can, the podcast. Yes, download Subscribe the, to it. Yep. And you can sign up for the newsletter. All right. Patreon members, Larry, Samson, Steve, Bud, Omar, Delivery Cats, Jamie, Frank, Joe, Nate, John, and our newest uh, Patreon subscriber, Tom from Chicago. Uh, Tom has been, God, he's been involved with the podcast for a long time, so I'm glad he finally became a Patreon member. Uh, it means a lot that uh, it took us four years to earn his trust. <laughs> Just thank you, for, I, thank you everybody for your support. Of course, it, it means a ton. It does. Um, it, it's it's amazing uh, when people want to spend their hard-earned money on us stupid asses. Yes, that that actually means a lot. And, so, and as you all know, it is not free to run this show. Hell no! I mean, just the beer budget alone is outrageous. <laughs> so, if you want to join to support us and buy us beer, go to patreon.com, search the Gig Econ Podcast, or just go to patreon.com/slash. Wait, no. Go to patreon.com slash the gig on podcast or just search the gig economy podcast. Sorry. First time back in a while. So I'm not used to rattling <laughs> this shit off. Um, and since you did that spot, I'll talk about the next one. Then when you're done with that, you go to the app store and you download telegram. And then when you download and install telegram on your, on your phone, through the is that what you do? It is on your phone. Can we do it on, um, actual phones that we used to use in the 70s can somehow we No, okay. you can't do it on your rotary Is there, there's no way to patch into telegram like i, I don't think so okay i don't think so right. they do have a desktop app on your computer that's true so they do have that but no you download the app on your phone yeah and then you go into the show notes here in in, in this app and you click on the link and you uh join the group uh in the in the show notes and then you can be part of the talk Part of the family. So, yeah, in that group, well, we talk gig work, we talk uh, just life in general, all kinds of great stuff. So, join yep. the group. All right, Gig Economy in the news. I'm going to try to do justice to this, but obviously, in the news right now, um, it's the new Biden era rule. That's what they call it. It says a new Labor Department rule out this week aims to make it easier for millions of low wage workers to get employee benefits and other protections. Uh, what I don't like about that, because this bill isn't set up, it's set up 
to be an employee. Don't talk about protections. The only protections I want is protection from, uh, you know, getting deactivated. But this is going to affect gay workers, janitors, home care workers, construction workers, and truckers, all those people. And honestly, nobody wants that. I don't think anybody wants that as a janitor. I don't think anybody wants that as a home care worker. I think they like to be independent contractors. I think it's important to stay that because... I don't want to be an employee. I don't want to have to deal with extra government bullshit and and a boss and not be able to go on when I want. And that's what it boils down to. So I really am not going to do this justice by just reading it. But you can find um, an article on our website at gigeconomyshow.com. But it's supposed to take effect on March 11. The rule is supposed to be published uh, today, actually. It was published. So I'm sure there's some new content out on that. But it's basically just uh, making sure that these, you know, as uh, as a worker, you have protections like sick time and vacation and stuff like that. But it's like, what is it, 90% of gig workers are part-time anyways? Right. So they don't want any of that. I mean, of course I would want it. If they're going to give it to me for free, I'm not going to say no. Right, but it comes with expectations, right? Exactly. It comes with changes. It comes with changes. Right. And you're going to be told when you can work and or you're going to be able to go to sign on and be like, sorry. So let me ask you this. I I have not read the article. So, But does does this mean that the traditional 1099 status is gone? I think that's the goal. I think that's their overall goal is to get rid of that. But it's like this has been a thing for forever. As far as I can remember, getting into the work world 1099 has been a thing i think the gig platforms kind of exploded that independent right. contractor but a truly independent contractor would be able to set your own prices which we've talked about we're not truly we're like a hybrid right you know what i mean like yes yeah, so we can work when we want um we, had, we don't really have anyone else telling us what to do but like if you're a drywall contractor i'm going to come drywall your garage my price is two thousand dollars take it or leave it so I don't know if you read that or not. I don't, we're not going to talk about it today, but Uber is actually testing that in India. You know, I believe I did a TikTok on that. Oh, that's that's another thing I forgot to mention. I am trying to put more content and shorts on YouTube shorts and TikTok. So yeah. join our TikTok. I did a TikTok about that. Yeah, that uh, that is interesting. They're... You basically bid your own price, right? And, and there's like a conversation back and forth. The reasoning is that the Uber's biggest competitor in India has that as their biggest. Oh, okay. The biggest thing is you can just choose your own price. Okay. Well, that's so. That's so that's interesting. That is very interesting. So, I do, and I, I think that in my TikTok, I asked, "Do you think that that would be able to work here? Would you like to see that?" I guess. As a customer or even as a driver, would you be willing to negotiate? I don't know. The problem is, like, is does it get to go back and forth or is it just like well, you get to choose well, one and then? Why wouldn't it work, though? Because the only way they would, would work is if you would be able to favor favor pro- drivers. And every night when I'm out driving, I get requests. Hey, can I can I have you again? Yeah, I know. Right. And so if then now we are now it's a completely different model than what Uber has today. Yeah. Now you have regular customers. You can set your own price, all that stuff, and it's well. Then you're then you're legit an independent contractor, right? Right. Like, but Uber don't want any of that. No, and they they flirted with having the favorite out oh, for a while, or they were testing it, but then right. it never it never came to fruition. So, but I just I never understood why they didn't want that. I think it's because, and and I know we've said this before on many episodes because this has always been a topic, is they just don't want any delay they don't want you waiting for your favorite driver they want you to fucking get a ride so they can just keep the rides going they don't want anyone waiting but but what's it to them if they want to wait that's true if they're opting to wait that's a good point it should be fine if you're opting to wait yeah that's a good point i don't know they probably just they could just see the future and having disgruntled people being fussy even though they favorited a driver and like i don't know it's just fucking stupid I think it's because their algorithm is hurting when they can't control where the drivers are in, well, at yeah. all times. That's a good point. Yeah. And that's what they want. They want control. Yeah. I mean, all those apps are manipulating to go. Like when Absolutely. you when you end up getting a ride somewhere or whatever, this isn't. Yeah. You, you did choose it. I will give you that. 
But that app manipulated you to like, well, we're gonna give this like I don't know how it does it. It's it must do it in microseconds, like oh, yeah. the movement of all these cars. And every once in a while, I'm sure you, you know, pull the wool over their eyes with something that you've done as far as like getting a good ride but, because it fucked up somehow. But we also don't know that we're actually getting a fair ride assigned to us. Well, yeah, yeah. For we, sure. We don't know anything. Yeah. We just know what Uber gives us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we assume that it's fair. So, yeah. Anyways. Um, okay, moving on. All um, those things to say that lots of changes in the gig economy. Yeah. One of which is that bird. <laughs> he's that bird. Um <laughs> Wow. Which is a electric scooter company. I, I was thinking about, did we have that in Grand Abbots or was that the other one? No, we had Spin and Line. It was Spin I was thinking about. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. So Spin, uh, no. So Bird is another of the electric scooter companies. And they are now, they just um, announced Chapter 11, which is bankruptcy, which is not the same as they be gone. It's Correct. Just, it is the same. Restructure, right? Restructure, yeah. And which is basically just a way of saying, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's kind of a fancy word of of staying alive, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're we, out of money. We need to figure this shit out. Exactly. We don't have to pay back our creditors, but we're going to stay alive. It's kind of a weird way of doing <laughs> it. But anyway, yes. So Chapter 11 bankruptcy. At one point, they were worth $2.5 billion. With uh, a B. B. <laughs> uh, 2021, they exited the New York Stock Exchange um, and were worth only seventy million dollars. Wait, they exited? Like they're they're off the stock? They're gone. Yes. I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, obviously, if the company goes like under, I can see them leaving. But so the the founder he left them. So it was kind of confusing. So. Where is it here? So things didn't improve and the share price continued to plummet. CEO Randall Sand departed in June with the company eventually delisted from the New York Stock Exchange in September. Separately, Bird also announced around a layoff shortly after buying rival spin for nineteen dollars oh. for nineteen million dollars. <laughs> I said nineteen dollars. I'm like, fuck, yeah, we could have bought them. <laughs> so so they bought spin. Um oh. And so then, so right now they're going through a chapter 11 and they're going to hopefully emerge stronger than ever after getting a um, money from a company called Apollo Global Management. Mad yeah, it Cap, doesn't matter. Mad Cap no one, no one yeah, cares. No one cares. So, um, yeah. But Bird. the the point of it is, is like, do we, um, there's Spin, there's Bird, and there's Lime. These these areas like Grand Rapids, right? They trialed both of them and they voted on Lime. So right. you get a contract like from the city. So I don't know if this is something that is going to be successful if you can't schmooze the city leaders. You know what I mean? It's not like you can just drop the scooters wherever you want. No, no, which, no. Which is interesting. I don't know why they... Well, because they have to work for the city because they have to have like scooter parking. It has to be designated. Right. So obviously you have to work with so the there's city. So there's no... But, Exactly. And there's no doubt that, like, for instance, Grand Rapids, they definitely like Lime. Well, they voted. They had two in and they voted Lime over. They, they right. There was an article on it. No, no, I understand. Yeah. But I'm just saying they like it now because you see that they're all over the place. Yeah. But they need to fix the Lime because it's still a huge problem at night. Ugh. I don't know what you do, though. There's nothing to fix. No, they do. Because here's the thing. I had this discussion with a, with a, with a passenger of mine one night. Okay. And he had, there was another me metro. I forget where it was, but it was a pretty big city. They turned them off after 10 o'clock. Oh. They just stopped working. Okay. Well, that works. I think that's an excellent solution. Wow. I said, why can't you do that? Yeah. I mean, I know they don't want to do it because they don't want to lose their revenue. But guess what? It's nothing but a trouble. <laughs> you should you should shut it off at ten, turn it back on at two oh one, 
because most cars are off the road by then. And then at least the drunks aren't getting in their car. They're getting on the scooter. You know what I mean? Like the risk of crash. Yeah, they're still, they're more drunk, but at least there's less cars. But from like Then 10, turn, turn them on a 301. At least wait well, to 301. No, because the drunk's going to get in their car. They're not going to wait an hour. They're going to be uh, like that a is true. 201. Is they're true. like, I need a scooter. I don't want, I don't want a, a drunk bastard on a scooter in, in front of me. That's the problem. You know, somebody died in Grand Rapids from I one know. of those. She was drunk too i mean she wasn't like a really drunk because people tried to blame every her every weekend i see i i saw pay issues with these people on on stupid scooters yeah every weekend yeah uh it, just real quick instagram comment we have one instagrammer i think it's frank from the group but i'll take it he comments shift has a favorite shopper option as a customer shoppers see uh i don't know if it's him or not or her. I don't know. Is that a woman? I don't know. I'm not even going to get into the sexes. I don't want to get canceled. I can't see the commenters. Oh, so you can't see the Instagram one. Instagram oh. comments are actually on Instagram. That's It's a little clunky. Yes, it's him. Okay, good. I didn't want to get canceled. Shoppers see that a preferred <laughs> member has placed an order and customers told if preferred shopper accept orders. Yeah, I did know that. But the problem with that, it's really shipped is like you shouldn't you can't do it now because there's so many preferred shoppers that you just never get decent orders. But anyways, sorry, Frank, I know you have long hair. I just it's the, the icon that I'm looking at is so small. I can't even tell who that is. So no offense, my friend. Um, of course, it's Frank. Of course. <laughs> okay, so the next one is so the title says MAGA Karen attacks rider, but we'll watch it. It's one minute long, and then we'll we'll kind of uh, talk about so it. So, what does MAGA stand for again? <laughs> if you don't know what MAGA is, me telling you, I don't know if that's going to make it any better. But it stands for Make America Great Again. If you don't know that. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I'm not going to get into the the politics of it all of it. But anyways, we're going to play this video. It's a little uncomfortable for the driver, obviously, uh, but and then we'll talk about it. Hello, hello, I call foolish. I call foolish. You. Hello. You. I call foolish. No, I can do that. Hello. I will fucking rip your face off. Hello, brother. Brother, I call foolish. Hello. Hello! No, Hello, Sidney Fitness! No Hello! Way. Hello! Hello, Hello Sidney Fitness! Hello, Sidney Fitness! Hello! Mara! Hello, please, Mara. please! Mara! Please, Mara. please Mara. don't leave me! Hello, please, save me! I got you! America! I will not let him go! Look! Yo, stop fucking Lucy. Me, oh, let me see! Oh, let me see! You have a camera in your car? We're no. good, right? <laughs> We're good! Nobody saw yeah, anything. Not right? a big deal. You're right. So you're going to take me home, right? Oh, wow. So I... What? So what do you think about that? Oh, all kinds of anger. <laughs> all kinds of anger. I just want to... Yeah, you want to smack her? No, him. No. Yes, I want to smack her. I want to smack her so bad. Well, one thing, uh, man, man, this always comes off as victim blaming, and I don't want to th- want to say that. But I'm like, the driver's like, she's fucking just clock her in the back of head, the know. head. He was a big guy too, and he was like freaking out. Maybe he was worried he was going to get arrested. But like, if someone's choking me, I'm going to punch you as hard as I can to get you off me. But but here's the thing, though, too. He's also driving the car. And not everybody thinks clearly in those situations, so right. it's it's hard. Well, and he may not have, it may not even have, have dawned on her her that it was an old woman. I mean, that might even have, not even have been in his mind. Yeah, he. I don't I know. Mean, I mean, it's, it's hard. Yeah, well, we like to think that we will clock her. Honestly, it kind of looked like she had dementia. The way she was acting, I don't know if it was a hundred percent intentional. I mean, not to say that it's still it's no, still no, no, wrong, no, but I, like, I've seen yeah, yeah. people with dementia and Alzheimer's and it's like they don't they freak out and don't know where they are. And they just they just do shit like that. I'm not her, giving an excuse. Her last comment, though. You're white, right? You'll take me home. I think she said you're right. I don't know if she even said. I mean, I'm trying not to defend her. I'm not. But <laughs> I don't want it. 
I don't want her to be completely thrown in the trash, but I mean, she has to either way. She has to pay for what she did, but I, I just feel like she had some sort of mental issue. I hope, I mean, not that I hope that she had mental issues, but I hope that's all it was. Yeah, I mean, Ugh. I do too, but it's oh always just um, uncomfortable in that. I mean, I've never that had that. very uncomfortable. I know. Like, oh, I felt bad for that. Like, I don't know. He just seemed to be freaking out. Like, I mean, again, I've never been in that situation, so I shouldn't judge him too much. But it's always uh, a scary thing to, to happen. And I've never had that happen, and I hope it never does. But that's one reason why I just don't want to take passengers, because like you just put yourself at risk every single day. You do when you do that. So yep. thankfully, we live in a relatively safe city. But it, I'm not saying it couldn't happen. But it's uh, it's also getting worse, though. Grand Abbott is getting a little worse. bit. You know, there's been a couple of murders in the last like month, and I'm like, usually they slow down in the winter time. Like maybe the snow will qu- it will stop it a little bit. Like. Summer's usually a shit show. Everyone's out. Know. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, it's it's not been great. Don't move to Grand Rapids. It's terrible. Don't <laughs> move to Grand Rapids. It's really not. No, it's but, not terrible. But it's been, I mean, I've had a, just even last year after I started driving, there's been a couple of situations. There was just a little bit where I was, I never used to be uncomfortable, but there's been a couple of times where I was a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, the last time I was, I think I picked up at the hospital. Remember we talked about it? That guy was like kind of arguing with the security guards. It was yeah. late, too. And he specifically moved over behind me like halfway through the ride. I'm mm-hmm. like, well, here it is. This is where I get jacked. Yep. First yep. time for everything. <laughs> Smile. You're on camera. Anyways, hey, Driven Dad, thanks for showing up. Uh, I don't know what's going on tonight. You're literally the only person that's commented. Usually we have a few crazy two people on this thing yeah i don't know so this the next one here this is kind of interesting this is um talking about um i want to say it's a is it a door dash? it's uber eats it's a uber eats yes okay either uber way. Eats. well that's weird though but okay why is it weird because it's um <laughs> Well, so it it says the order is on a bike. I want to say it's a it's on foot. I don't know, but well, but it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a delivery order. It's a food delivery order, and um, the driver, which I should say, the delivery person. So the Reddit says he's on a bike. Well, there is no walking delivery. Like it's bike or car. There's no uh, no. I understand, but yeah. Well, but he, he could say he's on a car, but they're just walking it, right? 181 miles. No, he said away. he was on. Why? I think that's photoshopped. 181. So he's three hours, three hours away. Is that? I wonder how far this is. I was hoping to look at the mileage, but it doesn't show. No, I know. But it's got to be that that part has to be a Photoshop. Ad, Adobe or whatever. Adobe. Adobe is walking. That <laughs> but, part has to be Photoshop. So well, I just like I like to come up with some of the comments. So all oh, the comments are the so best. So gas for the trip. Dodo is walking. Ha <laughs> ha. And then it goes. I appreciate the hustle. And one someone says there's no bus on that route. Someone says someone they says, probably mm-hmm. signed up as a walker, but they're driving. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it wouldn't take three and a half hours. He, to get... he switched the words. He probably oh, signed up as a wa- wa- yeah. He did. A, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, but then then somebody says Uber weight loss edition. <laughs> Said okay. So here o- Ope says y'all because someone asked for an update. Y'all, this was the most bizarre thing. It said the woman was walking, and I'd take three hours to get here. I'm looking at my phone, thinking I was being pranked. I chatted with Uber and got generic answers about the food being on the way. After a while, I asked for a refund. Then I check my phone, and now the food deliverer is in a car and almost at the house. Naturally, I was confused, but happy my food was closed. Miraculously, I did get my food. However, it was delivered to the wrong address. <laughs> my next-door neighbor's house had to walk over and explain. I ordered food at 12 a.m. and Oh, man, and this this was at 2.27 a.m. Uh, yeah, they probably got an Uber. They right. probably were walking and got an Uber, but yeah. that's crazy. It's ridiculous. That is a long... Um, too too much. Someone said, "Laugh my ass off, bro!" On a quest at this point, a quest to deliver it. Yeah, the comments are the best thing in the world. Always, it's my favorite. U- U- Uber weight loss. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could be a new a new setting. That would be great. 
Uh, so this Indian student, I don't know why they, I don't understand why we as people like say black person or Indian student. It fucking annoys me. Anyways, a student stranded as Lyft driver flees with 30 K worth of luggage company CEO reacts. A uh, student was tra- studying at Harvard, found herself stranded in Boston after a Lyft driver abruptly canceled a ride. She was in the car, and she asked the driver if she could go back and get her headphones. When she went inside, the driver decided to cancel the ride and drive off. Apparently, she had $30,000 worth of like electronics, documents, and stuff. Like That seems like a lot, but... It says uh, she's been actively seeking assistance from Lyft customer service, but unfortunately, crucial driver details remain elusive, compounding the challenges. Uh, equally important is providing necessary ride details, blah, 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 to the Cambridge police. But I'm not sure she ever got it back. But that's the problem when when you're dealing with these. Like, this is where you truly become independent because you cancel right. a ride and fucking turn off the app unless you've, like, straight up murder or, or sexually assaulted somebody or something terrible it's tough to get prosecuted for that stuff well yeah but but obviously the person can i mean can report to lyft and lyft can can now report to the police so it's not like it's not, but then it's it becomes impossible. a civil matter though well yeah yeah of course but i'm but what i'm saying is this is where you don't have the back as from the company as a customer they're going to be like mm, right. sorry here's his name you're gonna to have to go to small claims court but but would you have left would you have done it would you have left if you had if you know you had thirty thousand dollars worth of, of stuff in your car would you have left it in the car with the passenger with the lift driver i think i would if i was just going like what thirty thousand dollars? I mean, ooh, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's fifty fifty. If it's two suitcases full of full of clothes, no, fuck that. I, I don't care, right? Well, yeah, but but if I have if I have two big laptops or whatnot or whatever, it's like no, I don't think I would have. But so you, if you wanted to get your headphones, you would have pulled all your luggage out, brought it inside, got your headphones, and then pulled it all back down and put it in the car, or call somebody and got it for me. Okay, no one lives there. She was in Cambridge. Well, I'm just saying, no, she doesn't have any friends. She was again. She was at Cambridge. So she doesn't. Have, I'm just saying, hypothetically, she doesn't have any friends. She has no one living with her. She has. I'm, you would. You would have left your luggage in the car. Then fucking leave you. Leave your headphones at home. Buy new headphones. You have thirty thousand dollars of equipment. That's why I, I question the thirty thousand dollars of value. I mean. Her visa was in there. So, yeah, after all that stuff that she's paid for, I wouldn't say it's valued at 30000 Like, you're not going to sell that and make thirty grand. It's no. a dramatic, to well, be yeah, honest probably. with you. But, um, yeah, I guess my whole point that I wanted to talk about is the, the fact that there's no <laughs> repercussion. Uh-oh. Yeah, Jason's got a long lunch at Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be. Did you see that lady, that lady judge get lunged at from that? Um, did, have you seen on TikTok or Reels? No. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. Um, uh, well, see, the Driven Dad's on your side. Why would you leave 30K in a stranger's car? But I don't think it was 30K cash. I think it was like estimated as. But 30- even even if it was 10, I, there's no way I would. I don't know. I, 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 as much as I don't trust people, if I wanted to grab my AirPods, I'd be like, I'll be right back. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not going to like pull my fucking luggage out. But my whole point, the whole point is not, this is not the point of the article that I wanted to discuss. I'm talking about the not having these companies support the customer or the driver when these kind of things happen. Well, sure. The, the company deactivates the driver. He's deactivated, I'm sure. Right. But then they're like, oops, sorry, good luck. File small claims court. So Well what but again, what are they gonna do? There's no mechanism for you to to report what, what you have in your in your in in your suitcases. Well, yeah, that's true too. It's like the insurance company. They actually say at one point I did take pictures of all this shit in here. They actually say take pictures of all your valuable oh. stuff or just take a video and then send it to a secure location. Mm-hmm. And then if everything burns, you just send it to your insurance company. Like you should do a video every year. Yeah, you should. Mm-hmm. You know, not that everything. I mean, it's a couple thousand dollars, but they're going to be like, oh, yeah, right. You really had a podcast studio in there. I'm like, fuck, yeah, I did. Exactly. Pay up, bitch. I pay you every year. Never claim a thing. Candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> she, she should have had an air tag. Exactly. She oh. should have had that. 
I leave thirty well, k in the car and then. Who daily. was it that said that that somebody had air tags and that that everything was recovered because of air tags? Somebody stole something. Air tags are not great, they especially if they're not around other iPhones. Which Anyways. I mean, only the cool people have iPhones, right, Jesper? I don't have an iPhone. Yeah, exactly. You're not cool. I don't fucking care. Anyways, the point of the the moral of the story is. Apparently, don't leave a candy bar and or thirty thousand dollars in the car. You guys are you guys don't trust anybody. RMI inspections. Uh, I you, trust RMI. Yeah, I do too. Uh, if you need an inspection for your car, uh, go to the link in the show notes or the description of this video, and you can get an inspection uh, pretty relatively quick. 10, 15 minutes costs you nineteen dollars. If you don't pass, you don't pay. And, uh, yeah, it's just a good way to not go to the big uh, tire shop or the mechanic shops, get nickel, dime, a lot of this stuff. I always put this caveat in there. Don't be a piece of shit. If your car's falling apart, you ain't going to fucking pass through this. Like, it's not a it's not a cheap way to get past no. what needs to be fixed. Go get your shit fixed. I'm just saying. And, and you know it. Yeah. But if I'm you're... just saying a lot of these places do charge for it and it's like right do i really need to get my three-year-old car inspected like let's do the basics my seat belt my windshield my lights all wait, the wait, wait. it had to have seat belts it ha- and they have to work what yeah so go to uh the link in the description to set up an appointment with them we can't thank them enough uh they've been a sponsor for a couple of months and i Hope to continue using them. Six months now, right? I think so. No, three months. Six months? No, we podcast every week now. It used to be the the package used to be like three months, but oh. the problem is we podcast every week now, so it goes. Oh, it goes they faster. use they burn through their ad a lot quicker. Goes right. Yeah. Uh, Hoopdrides.com. Hey, if yes, we're go buy that right now. Don't let Steve buy it. <laughs> Hoopdrides.com. Hoopdrides. Hoopdie. You know what a hoopdie is? I don't. So like it's kind of a it's kind of a um I would say in the black culture they really like soup up like old cars and they would call it your hoopty. Like it's not a piece of shit. It's I don't know, hooptyrides.com. Right? Am I saying that, Steve? Hoopty is like a cool thing, like a cool car like a cool car. I don't know. I mean white people do it too, but I see black people have the lifts and everything, you know, where it bounces oh, yeah. and stuff like that's like that's my hoopty. I don't know. Speaking of that, I meant to talk to you about this earlier. It's kind of fun. I watched that. Um, is it called like Car Masters? One of those shows on on Netflix. And the, this uh, last season, they took a, a Tesla and they threw a they threw a, an, a gas engine into it. <laughs> so they converted a Tesla into a gas car. Was there? Uh, what did it have like a a smokestack in the front of it? Yep, yeah. It kind I of saw came, came out through the engine. It's, uh, I saw a picture of that. And I swear to God, I thought that was AI. I'm like, this ain't no, fucking real. I don't. A, it, it's a real car. It's a sweet car. God, where did I see that? My, I mean, I am on so many damn sites. Oh no, yeah. it's a pile of shit car. Damn it! <laughs> all right, I was way wrong. What do we? What do they call those cool cars that they're all like pimped out? I don't know. I don't know. Hoopty is a piece of shit. So, ah, boy. But yeah, I know that was a that, that was. A I cool car. I swear to God, I saw that picture. I'm like, this is AI created. Somebody just, oh my god, because it had like a big smokestack. It was like black yep, smoke coming yep. out. I'm like, those hill jacks. No. Nope. Oh, the whip. It's your whip. This is my whip. Pimp. <laughs> Pimp. <laughs> Something. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, moving on. Speaking of Teslas, what a good segue. I know, right? That's kind of what <laughs> like I was I'm a going. Professional. So. so <laughs> So I was actually thinking when I when I put in this article, I know we talked about Teslas in the past, and because obviously Uber has been now for a while adding adding discounts to to Tesla owners. Are you still getting Are you still getting an an added for you for your Tesla? Or not Tesla, but your uh, e- e- the dollar EV credit. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure Tony does too, but it only goes up. You only get four thousand, which that's a lot of rides. If you're doing four thousand rides a year, you're you're fucking killing okay. it. And but. then there's some, and this this article is talking about that, um, like Florida, for instance, is giving two dollars. Oh, really? Um, for Tesla drive. So, so Fuck Florida. There's some there's some states where you get more and that kind of stuff. So, but what they are saying is that the Tesla has some problems with with um. With this whole model. So basically, in another move to electrify rideshare fleets, Tesla has teamed up with Uber to offer discounts of up to 
$3,000 on its car to cars to drivers. Tesla has been added as a partner to Uber's vehicle marketplace where drivers can purchase new or used electric vehicles. The company will offer discounts ranging from $1,000 to $3,000 on Model 3 and on Model Y vehicles. This comes after Hertz hit the brakes on its acquisition of more Tesla vehicles because of unexpected problems with their, with their Uber partnership. Yeah, because they're beating the fuck out of them. It seems that it's it, this is the fun one. It seems that while Teslas are popular with drivers, Tesla's high tech and safety features can make them more costly to repair. You're no kidding. <laughs> you have the spaceship and you're giving it to you're giving it to freaking uh, uh, Uber drivers. Right. Meanwhile, Tesla launched another rideshare service in Tampa, Florida that will cost riders just two dollars per person. Yeah, we talked about that in the show. So, so that's interesting. So interestingly enough, Uber drivers don't receive the discount until they've completed 100 trips in their new EVs through the Uber platform. And these trips must be completed before uh, February 15th. Oh, wait. So you have to buy the car. You don't get the discount until after you drive 100 trips? Correct. Who would even, who would even buy a Tesla? Only a bitch would buy a Tesla. I would like a Tesla. Because you're a bitch. Only bitches drive Teslas and electric know. vehicles. Tony's gonna fucking three. Uh, he's gonna go three, two, one. He's gonna come cross. He's gonna launch at you. Nonetheless, this is cool. EVs make so much sense for Uber Uber drivers if they uh, have easy access to charging. They can save hundreds of dollars and sometimes over a thousand dollars per month just with gas. I think the biggest things. problem with renting a an EV, not just a Tesla. I mean, Tesla. Well, there's a caveat here. Renting an EV is charging like a Tesla at least has a ton of stations and they're able to and they quick charge like they the I mean, 20 minutes. You're I think it's zero to 80 percent in 20 minutes, which right. is yep. fucking incredible that how quick that is. Mine would take 90 minutes to do that. And I think that's the problem. Um, and then people go home like I have an advantage to have a level two charger in my home, so I don't have to use public charging. I can work all day in my car. And then go home at night. But when you're renting it, you're not going to install a right. a level two charger if you're going to rent it. Although it wasn't. I mean, if you have the room in your box, it wasn't terribly expensive. But um, so how does that work with your panels? Because I've asked. Ugh. I mean, I thought I talked about that before because because you don't have a battery. So so you my solar panels. Yes, it doesn't work. Well, that's the thing, right? Because you yeah. you don't charge you you don't charge a battery. You can then charge your car with. So apparently, the charger that I have, the company uh, has a some sort of switch that I can put. Well, I can't do shit because I'm not an electrician. But you can install it on the your box somehow, and as the power solar comes in, it will take any excess and send it to the charger. But the thing is, is like, A, that's really only going to happen in the summer, right? Right. B, my car is not going to be plugged in. I'm going to well, be out the, working. That's the thing. You right? know what I mean? So you you really need you need a battery. But man, if you're if you're talking, I know you keep harping on the batteries no, for no, solar. No no, 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 but I'm just saying, like I I when I would, it's just it's just not cost effective right now. Yeah. It just isn't. It's so expensive to buy batteries. I see that's <sighs> My point is, they really need to put more energy into researching the 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 battery the battery, uh, I guess, research technology technology. Yeah. yeah, that's why they need to put the energy. Well, I honestly think people are companies are taking advantage. Um, I think you can buy a Tesla wall, which is their battery version. Right. For like only eight grand. But then you still got to get somebody to install it. And that's, you know what I mean? So you can vary, you can just go buy it. But like they wanted 13 or 14 grand per battery. I'm like, fuck that. I'm not paying that much for that. I, If I ever get um, panels on my roof, I will put a Tesla battery on. Yeah. I'll, I'll put a Tesla wall. Because it's like, that's why. The I prices are going to come down for sure. I always recommend to people if you're going to get solar, do not listen to the company and get as much as you want because they try to because they're like, hey, you don't want to get too much because then it pisses the electric company. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. They have to by law have to do these all connects. Yeah, they might drag their feet on it, which they do because they don't want to. But get as much solar as you want. If you want one hundred and fifty percent fucking get it. I just saying that. So, yep. EV needs infrastructure before building too many more. Makes no sense to build many vehicles before infrastructure. Yeah, I think we're going to see a little bit of flop on the EV because they've pushed them out. 
and it's flooding the market. And I think it's going to slow. I mean, I know other cars are coming out with it, but like Honda did it right. Like, you know, I mean, I love my car. I think the Chevy Bolt is one of the most affordable EVs on the market. And I, and I, I think it, it it's great. I mean, obviously they had some problems early on. There were some fires. <laughs> they told you you couldn't park in the garage. Not my year, but like early on they right. had the Bolt had some issues, but I think, it, I think it's, it, it it's going to slow down before it ramps up. I think by the end of the decade, you're going to see a lot more. But right. a lot of these manufacturers like Chevy and, and and Ford are kind of backing off on the EV thing. Yeah, I don't know. I read, I, I saw another article earlier about another car. Um, it was one of the known manufacturers that comes out with a hydro, a new car uh, on water. Uh, see, like, that's dumb. I don't know if it is, but I didn't read the articles. I don't know. Well, it's but, dumb because that's not where we're heading. We're heading to the EV part. So let's upgrade the the well, yes. the chargers. We should, and, we should have one technology, right? But, that, I, but but I don't know. I, I really want solar power. That's, I really want solar. I solar. would get it. I think it's worth it. I think, but just get more than you want. Remember, get more as much as you want. If you want to be completely dependent on your solar, just get it. Don't worry about it. But I have had shitty months Alaska because the winter, of course, it's a little bit slower. But ooh, I looked at my bill. So obviously, the, I'm charging, and then the Christmas lights. Right. My bill was two fifty. I got seven dollars back from Consumers Energy <laughs> for the month of December because it's just cloudy, and they only give me fifty cents on the dollar. But anyways, all right, moving on. Uh, enough EV talk. I mean, I always can. I'd love talk. I could do a whole podcast on EVs. That's we need to make a new podcast just about solar power, solar power, and electric vehicles. There you go. There you go. So this is a post on a DoorDash group. Are you aware that when you log in to the DoorDash app, they're recording all your activity? They know where you're located. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if this, you never know when you're, you see these posts, if they're like, <laughs> if they're tongue in cheek, if they actually are serious, but like, yeah, bro, they have to know where you are. I I wouldn't <laughs> doubt if they know where we are, even when we're off our app. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, they fucking know where we are all the time. And it's like. If you don't like that, then don't do DoorDash or Instagram or Instagram. Sorry, <laughs> DoorDash or Instacart or anything like that. They know where you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, if they don't, if you don't want, if you do not want them to know where you are, don't have a phone. Yeah, period. don't have a phone in general. <laughs> oh, I'm no. sure there's an able, there's a way to go into your phone <sighs> and turn all that off. But like, you can't use GPS. Uh, anything location based, like if you're going to check in for like picking up groceries that you have, they have to know your location. They know that you're there. Like, good luck. Good luck. Just throw your fucking phone away. I know. And then and get off the, the get grid. Off the, yeah, exactly. So, so here is a story about, um, <laughs> and, and funny enough, I think, I guess it has to do a little bit with, oh, hang on. I need to get rid of all these stupid ads. Oh, you love it. <laughs> love ads. What I was trying to say is it kind of goes back a little bit to what we talk about being, uh, you know, uh, 1099 workers and all that stuff. Because as of April, the minimum wage is going to rise from 16 to $20 an hour in California. And... In regards to that, Pizza Hut is going to lay off most of their um, delivery drivers. Yeah. As many of 1,200 delivery drivers in, in, in California. Yeah. Layoffs, which will take place through the end of February, come as California's minimum wage is about to go up $4. Fast food workers in the state are set to get a paper. And this is interesting because this is in California, which means they already have um what's it called prop 22 but exactly. i don't I, I i'm sure steve can answer this i'm not sure prop this has anything to do with prop 22 i think this is a general state minimum wage well yes it is but um but the the these jobs are going to go to the delivery drivers yeah to, because to they the, so they yeah they're going to go to the Uber Eves drivers to the to and they are now they are still going to have minimum wage right so, yeah but it's still going to be less cuz once you kick an employee out it's le less paperwork less no, taxes yeah, you don't have to yeah. deal with all that yeah, shit so, so that's why they're so doing it technically it's easier for the companies why wouldn't yeah, they do it exactly yeah yeah, I mean so, it's good so for there, us. There's but. no benefit for the for the for the employees at all. Yeah, 
It does look like uh, a lot of the chains plan to raise menu prices to offset the high, higher wages. I mean, you kind of have to. Like well, the money's gonna come from somewhere. I mean, yeah, they're just not gonna take a hit on it. Absolutely. So, uh, Pack Pizza LLC operating as a pizza set uh, in a worker adjustment and restraining notification act noticed that the company made a pits a uh, b- pizza decision, a business decision to eliminate first party delivery services. And as a result of the elimination of all delivery driver positions, according to Business Insider, the notice was filed with the state's Employment Development Department. So. So basically, they won't have any. Inter- uh, they won't have any, own, uh, any of their own delivery drivers. They will all be using services. So Steve said the the rule change kills Prop Twenty Two. So does that kill it in Seattle? Well, they didn't have it in Seattle, but like, didn't Seattle and uh, Massachusetts pass something like Prop Twenty Two? So they'll be subject to AB Five. Yep. Oh, so boy. Prop Prop Twenty Two was Uber's way of fixing AB Five, right? Or what? It, not Uber's, but yes. So Tony, stop. Whoop de doo. <laughs> no, Tony says now pizza is gonna have to rehire them because Biden is a communist. Oh my god. Um, I was gonna comment on this article. This is crazy. I did not hear I've not did not know this because you know I'm not in like wage law or anything. Fifteen states have laws in place that make the minimum wage equivalent to the federal minimum wage of seven twenty five an hour. So there's fifteen states that the minimum wage is seven twenty five an hour, and five states have no minimum wage laws, so they can pay you what? Well, they have to pay you at least seven twenty five because that's the federal one. Are you kidding me? There's 15 states out there that someone that make is make 725 an hour. And how can the federal minimum wage be? I know it's been hour? like that for like they said like 15 years or something like that. But that's, see, that's the fucked thing. up. The federal government should just not have as much as many rules on the state no, level as they do. They don't. Well, the state can override it. I mean, no, I know, but it's but still sh- like yeah. the states that don't. Oh my god. Michigan, it's ten thirty three an hour for minimum wage. That's the state minimum wage. Yeah, but even right now, try to get get people to work at that. Well, my daughter makes eleven eighty five an hour at Culver's at sixteen. Maxo, oh Maxo, Maxo makes thirteen seventy five at Meyer. I know. Frank uh, says seven twenty five in PA. God damn it! How? Do, that's crazy. I spend five dollars and twenty cents a day on Monster. Like it just, just thinking about how low that money is. But Steve's son makes nineteen dollars an hour. Damn. Yep. Well, yeah. I'm. Oh God, that's crazy. It's, so, what are you saying, Tony? You think that if you go to that state, they don't have a job that pays seven twenty five, or you're saying that they pay more, or you're talking about the states that don't have um, state minimum wages, but. Yeah. Anyways, it's ridiculous. All right. So this TikTok video, uh, I think it's fake or not fake. I should I should preface this. When I say fake, I mean, it's someone created a preface. preface. Someone <laughs> created a video just for fun. Like it's like a like a skit or whatever. There we go. A skit. All right. Here we go. Oh, basically, it's driver asking for wrong order back. I got you the wrong <laughs> order, bro. <laughs> this is your order right here, bro. You ordered the checkers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just leave it on the porch, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, but I'm going to need the other order back, though. That's for another customer. Uh, I broke the seal in the order already. Oh, uh, that, that's fine. <laughs> as long as you ain't eat it or nothing, then it's cool. Ain't that, like, cross-contaminants and stuff? Like, I mean, I wouldn't want to eat it if somebody else got my food, you know? <laughs> hey, bro, quit playing me, okay? I'm going to let the other customer know what happened, all right? And I'm going to let him know about the cross-contaminants and whatever, and he can make the decision if he wants his food or not. Hey man, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I ate the food already, bro. You gotta be more careful, bro. But you can just leave my food on the porch, though, all right? Ooh. Hey, yo, you okay? <laughs> hey, are you good, bro? <laughs> you know that food wasn't yours, nigga. You knew that shit wasn't yours. You ordered checkers. That cheesecake factory in there. Hey, man, you don't want left there, bro. When you opened up the container, did it look like it was a big Buford sitting in that hey, motherfucker? I think he got this up, Azuka, damn. I think you got me f***ed up too. <laughs> hey, oh, you got six no. seconds to cough that shit up exactly the way I gave it to you. I, I ate it what has he got in his hand? Well, I think it's time for seconds then, bitch. <laughs> He's like me. I always get a uh, high Mickey Mouse voice when I get excited. Uh, again, I it think was, it was fake. It was fake. Because the ring 
audio was like crystal clear. Not like I mean, it, obviously it wasn't. Uh, right. Yeah, but anyways, it's still. Yeah. Is he holding a pipe? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was holding something. He was gonna <laughs> fucking hit that guy right in the head. Oh uh, um, no! Yeah, no, it was fake. I was gonna say, what stories do you have like that from delivering food? But you only have done like one order. Yeah, no. The only the only story is I've never delivered the wrong food, but I did. Uh, I don't even I don't even know what. Sorry, Frank said you see two big boof, buffer Bufords? Buford Bufords. I'm an idiot. I don't even know what big Bufords are. It's a burger from cheese cheesecake. No, uh, from Checkers. Oh, is it? Yeah. I've I've God, I don't know if I've even eaten at Checkers. Ah, Checkers make good burgers. Do they? Oh, they do. I got a. This is a Michigan chain, but Mister Burger. I got a. I, I give it a five out of ten. That burger. Or did it ruin with it when we Which went one? out to lunch? Mr. Burger. Um, no, it's it's a good. Uh, it's a it good was five. a it's five a good, out it's of a ten. Good five, yeah. But did it ruin it because our pop was flat as hell? The pop was flat. Yeah, that was yeah. terrible. Anyways, it's the Checkers Burger. All right, I I guess I need yeah. to uh, try one of their burgers. I mean, the, the, that's probably a seven or eight. A Buford. Really? Yeah. It's really. Good, it's a good burger. Not better than and and the fries are good. They have good spices on them. So yeah, it's good fries. Not better than Five Guys. I fucking love Five Guys. I need you to, don't say. I need to buy their if they're on if they're not pub- a sponsor yet. If they're, <laughs> if they're not uh, publicly traded, I, if they are publicly traded, I need to buy some stock on Stash for that. <laughs> uh, okay, real quick, uh, last quick ad: Octopus Tablet. If you are a gig worker, where the fuck is my thing? There it is. If you are a rideshare driver, not a gig worker, uh, you definitely want to get this tablet. You can earn up to $100 a month. You do have to drive a lot to get that, but they also uh, uh, lots of times have giveaways for the drivers. I actually won $1,000. I'm getting a 1099 from them this year because I made over $600. But basically, it's a tablet that has games, uh, keeps your passengers uh, you know, interactive. Drunk people love it. And they play ads on there. And so the octopus gives us um, a little bit of that revenue. And now they have one tablet more than they had They have before. one tablet more because Jesper had to send his back because he hasn't driven in so long. But um, So, yeah, check it out. Five guys. Five guys. <laughs> I like that. I comment. read Frank's comment, and I just... <laughs> I read it. I'm like Ron Burgundy. I was like <laughs> five guys. He said way cheaper than five guys. And I said to myself, I'm going to talk. I'm going to finish my ad. And then I'm going to talk and say that comment. I literally uh, <sighs> octopus tablet. Check it out. Oh, God. Check, yeah. Check us out. <laughs> check it out. Checkers out. I mean, check it out. Link is in the description. Uh, Frank, you're right. Yeah. Five guys is insanely expensive. It's insane. I don't know why. Check. I think I think they pay their workers really well. I think they start at fifteen dollars an hour there, which ain't bad for a like fast food drop job. Drop. <laughs> we we better stop. I had soon. one beer. <laughs> I haven't been. T- I haven't talked this long in two weeks. My God. Oh yeah, but Checkers is not bad though. They're not. All right, they're I'll good. try it out next time I'm out and about. All right, here we go. Yes, so bird. this is definitely we've talked about these a hundred times before. I this know is, this, this is it's fucking insane. This is a definite, absolutely no freaking no. This is from Grand Rapids too. Yeah, I know. But would you do a hundred eight dollars for well three hours each fucking way? Yeah, so it's no, it's basically a, a two. It's it was already six and a half miles away, right. and a hundred and ninety three mile trip. And then you got to drive back for $108. Do you remember when we would go to Kalamazoo and get 45? Right. It's fucking insane. No. It's so gross. So I have to tell, and I'll be quick about it, but the very, very, very first time I had somebody who wanted me to to drive them to Twin, no, 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 to Royal Oaks from Grand Rapids. Okay. Which is Detroit? North of Detroit. Okay. Right. It was fucking 1 a.m. in the morning, 1.30 in the morning, right? Yeah, I'm listening. And and I picked them up. They were, they were, they, they, it was after a wedding, and they were drunker than drunk. Yeah. And they wanted to go home, right? So here's the, the conversations. They go, see, they really wanted to go to Royal. He was going to pay me an extra $200 in cash, right? On top of the app? Yeah. A couple of, and, and it was an XL. So it's Ooh. okay. Let's do it. So I said, and then and I go, so we went on the highway, and so I go, okay, it's fine, let's go. So I, I, I said, you know, we were just passing the um, the college exit, and I said, how did you get here, sir? 
by car. Okay, well, where's the car right now? At the hotel. Okay, what hotel are you at? You know, such and such. Well, shouldn't we go there? Oh, yeah, I guess you can do that. <laughs> so you talked him out of from going home? Well, I mean, apparently, like, so it was fine, but he had forgotten he had a hotel room in town. Oh, I, what a, <laughs> that's how drunk they were? He, it was just him. Just oh. Him. And he had a hotel room and everything. <laughs> what an idiot. I never heard that story before. Yeah, it was the first year I drove. Oh, Jesus. What an <laughs> idiot. Oh, my God. <laughs> So Steve says you pull up and tell the passenger it said you were making two fifty. Then it changed to one hundred five. Did they spend two fifty or one hundred five? If they say two fifty, cancel and take the payment. No, you pull up to them and say, "Yeah, I'd love to take you, but I'm gonna need an extra two hundred dollars on top of that." And if they say no, then you just cancel. I know there's drivers in the Grand Rapids market that accept all the long trip rides. Right? They wait for a long trip. They go up there. They try to negotiate. If they say no, they cancel and go back. I mean, are they sitting in that lot for six hours waiting for somebody to finally take them up on it? Like, what a waste of time. Yeah. Frank, no, I did not make it $200. I was going to get that when I get, when he got there. But yeah, but oh. no. But the ride I did to Chicago when I negotiated $200, he gave me that $200 when I picked him up. So. Yeah. there. I will not do I, It's up front only. I mean, money up front. That's that's the only yeah. way. And I have done a few of those, but I have not done a long trip negotiation in year. I mean, it was pre-COVID. Mm-hmm. But that that one was pretty good, actually. That was the one where it, they gave it to me four times, and it was XL, and it was, I think I ended up making $400 on it in cash. I mean, $400 after the 200 gave me in cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money up front or nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's not, I mean, again, it's like whatever, but it's like, I mean, you can get deactivated for that too. So if you're a new listener, uh, new driver listening to this, just, I mean, you do, you're rolling the dice. Right. That's why you should be on both platforms. But honestly, I haven't even accepted a long trip ride because they're horse shit. They're like, they I'm like, I'm always not even, I'm not even going to fuck with this. Like no. I, then it, yeah. anyways, <laughs> uh, we I'm sorry, a, what was that? Blah. Blah. We had a couple more, but we are over our time. We're out of town. Um, town, I, time, town, town. No more beer for you. I know. Um, so thank you guys so much for listening to the Gig Economy Podcast. Uh, check out the show, obviously, at gigeconomyshow.com. Download the episodes. We really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. As always, don't put up with anyone's bullshit. And we'll see you on the road. Good night. Good night. This podcast is produced and edited by Hey Guys Media Group. Want to start a podcast? Check out heyguysmediagroup.com.